Welcome back to Cardiff. I'm Jerry Forsyth. I'm honored to be joined in the booth by a grand champion and a good friend, Johnny Archer. Johnny, we got a great one coming up here. Well, this is going to be a good match, Jerry. It's going to be, uh, you know, of course, Oliver, he's playing really well of late. Uh, he's in, you know, in good form. And then you got the magician Efren, you know, one of the best players, maybe the best player of all time. You know, uh, it's going to be fun to watch. Well, we've heard all week that Oliver's back in his A form, but he's going to have to be there to take on this man. Uh, wow, the uh, legs were a little bit shorter to be desired. And wow, that kind of looked like the way I've been lagging all week, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Efren has taken the, ra the uh, lag, and he will be breaking off here for us in just a moment. Well, yeah, it's always fun to watch Efren because, uh, you know, he has, the sh he has the shots, you know, uh, that nobody else does you know the kicking the the swerving the you know all the kind of you know shots that that kind of gives him a little extra advantage well they do call him the magician for good reason you'll probably see some of that in this match well we're gonna see how he's breaking oh he hit him pretty well Ooh, he almost scratched he didn't though okay and he has a shot up on the one ball. The two balls laying in kind of a funny position, Jerry. Yeah, it's going to be a little tough. He's going to have to hold that cue ball down on the same end of the table as the one. I don't believe he has room between that two ball and the side pocket to play it into the upper left corner pocket. Yeah, I can't tell if the two balls past the point of the side or not. If it's past the point, it, he, he's got a little bit of room, but, but then the seven really comes in play more. Um, it's just kind of wait and see whatever he's looking. He's looking above the side to try to land straight. But if he can land straight, he can get past the seven where he's got to he have a thin cut on the four. We'll soon know what he has in mind. He's about to unleash the first shot of this match. Oh, he's kind of trying to. Oh, he tried to go into the into the top bottom side of the seven and and then carry him into the two, and he missed them both, Jerry. He's really put himself in a bad position here because I think the two ball may be frozen. Indeed. You take another look at it, and this is going to be a tough way to start. He just barely misses knocking that two ball out to where he could play it. Uh, but now, Johnny, I think he's going to have to find a place to duck. Well, definitely. You know, this is definitely going to be defensive. Well, as with the home viewers, uh, if the two ball is touching the rail, that means he has to drive it to another rail. He cannot, okay, it's not touching. Good camera work right there. Okay, he was actually trying to play the seven off of the four with a carom. And he hasn't come up, and he's left Oliver a shot in the side here, I, I believe. Indeed he has, as you can tell from the colored balls on the bottom of your screen. The three ball is already off the table, so the next ball up after the two ball will be the four. <laughs> And that's the pink ball you see up at the uh, upper right-hand portion of your screen. Uh, he's going to have to make the cue ball travel a little bit here unless he decides just to pull off the two. Yeah, I, don't, I think he's a little bit too thin to, to pull off the two. I think he, here, if, he, if the bottom rail is available, he's going to try to just roll it in, come to the bottom rail, and out two rails. If not, um, he'll have to pull it to the side rail and then back out two rails. Because I don't think he can hold it unless he... I don't know, maybe he might try to play it off of the seven. No, he's playing it. Let's see here, and I think he's going to the bottom rail. He scratched. Wow. He sure did. That was a very miscalculated shot there. Well, he'll have a while to think about this. Here, you take another look. Watch the cue ball. Very miscalculated. I mean, he, hit, he missed both sides. Well, he didn't like it. The fans behind him were clapping, and Oliver didn't like didn't like them clapping back there for a mistake. And you know, uh, to give them all due respect, in the Philippines they really pull hard for Efren, you know. And so when any kind of mistake is formed, you know, for Efren, they're they're going to do that. And um, you know, he has a good following back there, has a good crowd behind him. You know, um, 
that's I played in the Philippines for years, and that's the way it is. That's just you just have to get used to it. And maybe Oliver's not used to it. Maybe he has never seen that before. But you know, us Americans are we're kind of used to it. Everyone's beat on us over there a few years. Yeah, Oliver's just going to have to put these fans out of his mind because they're definitely going to be pulling for their hero, Efren Reyes. And Efren has an easy clearance here to take this first rack. Yep, I see no problems here. He's going to just keep a little bit of an angle on the, make this um, keep a little bit of an angle on the eight, come back across, and shoot the nine in the, shoot the nine in the lower left hand pocket here. Black eight should go in. He's watching to make sure his shirt doesn't touch the nine, which is, which is a, a would be a foul. Very nice position. Efren Reyes to deposit this nine ball and draw first blood. Now leads the match one to zero over Oliver Orton, but more importantly, he gets to come to the table with the next break off. He could keep Oliver sitting for quite a while. Yes, that was a very miscalculated shot by Oliver. If it was anywhere coming close, if it was anywhere coming close, um, you know, he's, he's supposed to do something with the cue ball there to make sure he doesn't scratch. Because with the, coming at that angle into that pocket, you know, it really opens the pocket up because you have that kind of English that's going to throw it more into the rail. So it really makes the pocket that much bigger. I, I, I really, I didn't like to, his choice of shots. You know, it, I think he should have forced it more to the side rail. Yeah, I was very surprised to see him go that directly into the pocket. But now... As everybody's looking, Efren's wearing the, the ribbon on his uh, on his left front. We can't see it from here, but in a second we'll see it. He's wearing the, the black armband, and then on his front he's wearing the pink the pink ribbon. And uh, that's all in respect. Um, the Filipinos has had a hard day today, you know, with with the loss of uh, Bustamani's. There's we can see the ribbon there. Good camera work. There with the uh, you know loss of Bustamani's family member and uh, you know our hearts and thoughts just go out to them. It kind of makes we're really trying here in the tournament, but it kind of makes the tournament you know kind of minute. You know when it comes to something like that, uh, we worry about too many things. It kind of puts things things into perspective. You know I really really feel for them. Yeah, it's been point. a bit of a dark day, but right now Efren Reyes has smacked that break. He's put in four balls on the break shot. And Ooh. has jawed the two ball. Okay, he's missed a two ball here. He's given that beautiful break away to Oliver Ortman. Yeah, he hit that a little bit full, caught the caught the bottom side of the of the point. And uh, it just stayed there. These pockets have very deep shelves. You've seen it all week. Balls can hang very deeply in the pocket. They can, I tell you, and this ball here is hung very deeply. Jerry, good call. It's uh here he just he's gonna have to kind of a take a long shot on the four and he has oh boy boy what the, was that he really needed some angle it looked like his q-tip came up at the last moment done, on that but, shot but he really miss hit the he really miss hit right there I mean he didn't hit it anywhere close to where he was trying I think the nerves uh, we seen it in the last match with the two Americans uh, Strickland and, and Jeremy um, Jones, they, they were not, not playing well at all, uh, especially Jeremy. He, he, sh he was mishitting the cue ball kind of kind on some of his shots. And, uh, you know, we've seen this from Oliver. And Whoa. Really, he mishit it badly again. He might have got away with this one. It looks like he got a snooker here from a mistake. Well, luck came into play for Oliver. Well, I tell you what, Efren's not going to let him have He's not. He's not gonna. If he makes any mistakes, Efren's not gonna give him any kind of chances. Which here he might have got a little bit lucky here by snookering Efren. He's gonna have to be in true form to beat Mr. Reyes. See, Efren doesn't have a jump cue for one thing, so he's not gonna try to jump shot. He's gonna. He's gonna use his kicking abilities, which, which he has the best at that. There is. Wow. Efren nearly Boy, made first. that ball, Johnny. Might have made the six. Nope. Boy, it's he come very close to making the four straight in the pocket. The pink four really come close to going in. Here's another look at this kick shot. You Boom. see the pink headed right for the oh. corner. Boy, and he really, just really barely holds out. 
And you know, as people know, people don't understand, Efren really was trying to make that ball straight in. You know, he was trying to make that. And I think Oliver has mishit this ball. Well, the wheels have come off Oliver's game. This is now three shots in a row that were not up to his standard. Well, as you can, as Earl was talking on in, an, in his interview, you know, it's coming down to the later part of the tournament. You know, the shots now, are, you know, are, every shot means a lot. I mean, it could mean the whole match. He's missed again. He's not going to get, not going to snooker him here. Efren's going to have a shot. Well, those are four shots in a row that Oliver now needs to go sit in his chair and forget. Here's another look. He's trying to bank this ball into the side pocket. And, and he's a ball short of that. And Oliver's looking. Oliver's. I seen him go back to his chair, and he looked back at the crowd again. He's going to have to get the crowd out of his mind. Yeah, he's going to have to get the crowd out of his mind because if he sits there and, 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 you know, they're not doing it against Oliver. Uh, they're just doing for Efren. You know, they're just rooting for their man, Efren. Yeah. And, you know, if you can see him, when he when he was going back to his chair there, he just took another. Well, here's a carom that Efren used to finish that game off. A beautiful shot backing nice into shot. the nine ball. Very nice shot. And now Efren Reyes leads our match two to nothing. And Oliver Wartman has got to get it together here pretty quick or this man's going to run away with this match. Yeah, it, Oliver cannot have mistakes on this man. This man will really really punish him. He can do it to you. Rack three, Reyes to break, leading by two racks to nil. The crowd's really heavy for Efren, you know, and they just, you know, especially with the, with what has happened today, you know, now they're really, you know, they're such a tight-knit country. You know, they're all for each other. Very good break. Four ball down in the corner pocket. Let's see how the one in the cue ball set up. Boy, he's got a little tie up down here by the spot. Looks like the the uh, orange five, green six, and, and the nine ball are all together down here. And this one ball is no easy shot no. to begin. I really don't think he's going to go for the one ball here, Jerry, just by the lay of the, because the two ball doesn't go. Uh, I think if he does anything here, I think he's going to play a safety here. I know Efren doesn't want to, but really, I think that's the only position he has. Cause so what, shoot the gap between the three and the eight and then tie the uh, cue ball up behind one of those two balls? Yes, I, I think uh, maybe bank to one ball, a couple rails back down table, maybe around the spot, or maybe back, you know, uh, somewhere in the middle of the table and, and have the cue ball go in between the three and eight, you know, try to stick him there. Efren's looking for an offensive shot here. He's looking for an offensive shot. But... Uh, I really don't know if he's got an offensive shot. I think uh, he may be trying the combination. I don't know what he's trying. Maybe a combination on the eight. Oh, he oh played. my. He played a, what did he He do? played a double carom. A double carom. I'd love to see that again. I would love to see that again. He plays off the eight, off the three. Here you off see it. Off the eight, off the three, and there it goes. Wow. Now, that just shows the imagination that this man has to, th wow. <laughs> to be able to come up with that shot. That is some kind of shot. I mean, just to even attempt that. I mean, and, and it was very, very close to going. I don't know how it didn't go in, Cherry. He actually hit it too full because it went too full off of the three. That was, that was an amazing shot just to see, even though he missed it. That was an amazing shot just to see. Great stuff from the magician. And now Oliver Ortman. Has to see if he can collect himself and get something going. Here's another look at this this man. Off the eight, shot. off the three, and there it comes. It catch, catches the point. Oh. Look at it. It's down in the pocket. Well, let's see if Oliver can regroup himself here now. Okay. Well, he nearly got stuck behind the three ball, but well, that's he, clear. He made the one anyway. He didn't miss hit the one. That's always a start anyway. Hard to tell from this angle whether the two ball clears. I don't know. He may be trying a combination. No, he's trying a safety. And oh, that that's was, a that's terrible a, effort. That's a well. I really don't know if I have a comment for that one. I don't know. What was he doing, Jerry? Did well, he, he was trying to move the uh, cue ball behind, behind that the, cluster. Behind the cluster, he, he, he hit, hit it nowhere too full. near he hard way enough. Too, way hit it too full. Yeah. That was. Um, 
that, that was kind of a hit and hope, I think. I, I don't... You can't do that at this point in the game. I mean, you can't hit and hope anything against Mr. B against Efren. You just can't do it. Well, now Efren has an opportunity to make this three ball, bring the cue ball back across the table and play a marvelous safety where he can stick the cue ball where you see the five now and move the five ball on the other side of that cluster. Yep, he's trying to go up under oh the five my. here. He didn't quite get there. Had he gone another four inches, he could have played that five in the uh, corner pocket, and he may do that now still. This five ball is on to this pocket, but no, he's... I see a safety here. Um, I think he's going to... But see, the only bad thing about it, he has to make sure he gets to a cushion. Um, and with the length, he has to hit the five pretty pretty hard to get it all the way down to get a cushion. But can he hit the five hard and use the six as a bumper to stop him behind the nine ball? He could, but then he takes a chance of the cue ball kind of going out, you know, and, and the five's not going to stop on the end rail, I don't think. Um, he may be playing the billiard again, Jerry. Well, it's hard to second guess this man. He may be <laughs> playing the billiard that. again. I don't know what he's doing. He's looking like he might be playing the billiard off the nine, try to make the five in the corner, or maybe cutting it. Uh, he might be cut, just trying to cut it straight in. He missed it. He spun it. He got snooker yeah. behind the seven, I think. The ball just keeps on rolling, but Oliver does not have enough of that ball, I believe, to uh I think Efren was doing it. like Oliver. He was hitting and hoping there. We're doing a lot of hitting and hoping today, guys. We all just kind of... You know, we're all here having fun. Well, Oliver's got quite a decision in front of him here. You having fun, Jerry? I'm having a ball. Me too. I'm not missing a ball out there. Well, I haven't missed a ball all week. No, I know. Yeah. And that's a good thing because I've seen you shoot before. <laughs> and if you had to shoot, you, you, you may change your mind. <laughs> Oliver does have a chance here. There is a a slight chance of a bank which gives him the opportunity of making this ball but that's the harder way to hit it however I don't see a safety option and when the safety is as tough as the shot why not go for the shot definitely if he goes to the bottom rail here to the short rail the rail closest to the five right he the, he may try that because there is a, a type of a way to play a safety there but uh, the way you mapped out is the way he can try to make the ball because that is the pockets the closest to. Well, at this point, he's two games behind. It wouldn't be a bad time to try and make some points. No, not at all. And he's going to have to put some speed on it because if he he's going to try to hit it hard here and he's going to try to make maybe go off the side rail with it and, and pocket the five. Okay, he's missed, missed everything. He came into that side rail much too soon, much too early on that shot. Okay. And now Efren Reyes only has five balls to clear. Well, I see Efren. I see no, no problem here for, for Efren. <coughs> You'll see Efren, he's going to shoot left-handed here. He almost shoots as good left-handed as he does right-handed. Watch the stroke, the same exact stroke. The man has it all in his bag. A little bit weak. He's not happy with that. He's smiling <laughs> that smile of, uh-oh. That wasn't quite as, uh, that was a little better than Jeremy's was last match, though, when Jeremy tried it. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd's laughing at him. As the girls looking, the guys, they're all laughing and joking, having a good time. Their, their master's leading. Yeah, Oliver's not laughing, I don't think. Very nice. Efren drawing back off that six for the seven ball. Yeah, Oliver's not, uh, he's not laughing. You'll see Efren go around three rails or four rails. One, two, that's too short. I better hit the eight. Oh, good kiss there. Very fortuitous kiss there, Jerry. Well, the good ones get lucky. And here's a great example drives straight into that eight ball and it sets right up for him. Efren spinning that cue ball back down table toward the nine. 
And he needs this ball to take a three-game lead in our race to 11. Yep, I see him making this one definitely, Jerry. Three to nothing. Yes. Efren Reyes in the lead. Oliver Ortman in the electric chair. Okay, we had Michaela just, just pointed at somebody in the crowd. Be right back in Cardiff. Stay with us and watch more of the magician at work. Here in Cardiff, the magician leads the machine three to nothing, and Efren Reyes comes to the table to break us off in rack number four. Well, Johnny, so far, Efren's shown us a uh, variety of creative shots, and Oliver has uh, shown us some nerves. Yes, um, I think, uh, you know, I think it's nerves, definitely. We're taking a look at Efren's ring there. He has a nice ring on. It's shiny. He's a, uh, Efren's a classy guy. He, he you know, he, he tries to dress well, and, and uh, he looks very nice, sporting the ribbon. He's sporting the black band, the Pouillard Sports, uh, the ring, just, you know. And he actually has his hair combed today. He's a good fellow. You know? He's got a long shot, though, on this one ball to start this rack with. This is a bit of a tester. Long shot. There's the score updates, Jerry. Oh, I see. He has missed a one. Shamat beat Pag Lion. Takahashi won his match. Okamura over Kung. Uh, my friend Johnny over Kung Fang Lee. Earl Strictly earlier over Jeremy Jones. And Bustamani narrowly by Antonio, Antonio Lenning. Efren Ray is, of course, the match you're watching. And upstairs, Yang leads Takanaka by a margin of 4-3. to three. That's definitely a match I'm watching because uh, I played a winner of that match, Jerry. Should I so. ask you who you favor? Well, uh, Takanaka was in my group stage earlier in the in the qualifications, and uh, he was the only match that I lost. I, uh, I, I played him first, I lost, and then um, I didn't play, you know, I didn't lose another match. But So I, I'd kind of like to have him a little bit, maybe kind of revenge, maybe. You a know, little just, vengeance. Well, just, you know, to see if I can fare, fare a little bit better now, you know. Um, not that I'm mad or anything, you know, oh, but, uh, but uh, you know, I'd just like to see how I fare, fare next time. Well, right now, Oliver Ortman would like a little vengeance to get back for the sh shots he played earlier. He has hit this ball not hard enough, Jerry. Boy, he certainly has come up short. He needed to go at least another six or eight inches to be comfortable on that ball. Boy, he is really struggling, Jerry. He is... Uh, what is making the guy struggle so much? Is the table playing differently? I haven't played actually on it. Well, it doesn't one, seem one to be. One time this week, it, I don't. It doesn't seem to be bothering Efren. They're playing well, on the same table. Well, aren't Efren they? just missed a one ball, which was uh, yeah, kind of uncharacteristic for Efren. I would have thought he would have made that, but um, I don't know. I've seen you know Jeremy and Earl. I didn't watch the earlier match. I guess who was the other match? It was uh, Marcus and was it Shamat and and, and, and I didn't see that match, yeah. so I don't yeah. I don't know how they played. Yeah, it was five nil and then six five, so they had. That was a very good shot. That was a tough that shot that all just on took on. And this one also. This is a kind of a nerve tester here. This is not very easy. He kind of has to slow roll it right inside. If he gets past this ball, the rack is his, but he has not. He, he has hit the again. knuckle of that side pocket, and he's left it right in the corner pocket for Efren Reyes. Yeah, that's just another mistake. I mean, when you miss chances like this, you can't, you can't ask for many better chances to have. Um, and then the Efren has come up short again. He's come up 
I guess he's going to take this on in the side, though, I think. Yeah, he'll take it in the side. Let the cue ball just float down table. A little bit of draw English to hold the cue. Ooh, ooh. For a hey. moment there, I thought we saw it going for the pocket, but Efren's just fine. Now he can come up two rails for the nine ball in the lower left corner pocket. Yep, just coming over for the nine. And uh, I see a 4 nothing lead here, Jerry. Efren Reyes now leaves this match four to nothing. And there's the Filipino fans with the flag. They're all smiling. Their heroes leading four to nothing. And we're going to go up on the mezzanine level and take a look at this match where Yang leads Takanaka four to three. However, it appears that another rack has just been taken there. Yep. 4-4 four, four now. I think it's 4-4. Four, four. I just seen Takanaka make the 9, so it's 4-4 four, four now, Jerry. Indeed. We have a tie match upstairs. And that's a big one between two champions. Yang ranked number one in Taipei, even above Fong Pang Chow, who was the world champion here just two years ago. Yes, that's a good match to watch. And now we're back down with Efren. He's... He, he doesn't give us much chance to, to wait and talk. <laughs> well, he has made a ball on the break, but it appears that the one ball is blocked by the five. Here's the take, you take a look at this. The three ball goes down in the corner pocket. He parks the cue ball. Yeah, and the one gets right on the rail where he's got to play a safety. Wow, he hit a good shot there, Jerry. What a beautiful safety. He kind of got a little unlucky. He didn't get behind the nine, but... The way Oliver's going, this is this not bad for Efren, I think. Oliver's. Well, all I can see for Oliver is to make these balls either change places or very possibly to send the one ball to this rail and send the cue ball over this way. Yeah, that's the kind of way I'm, I like try to send the one to the right side of the table and the cue ball going over to the left. He could wind up with some blocking balls in between if he does that. Yeah, he has to really watch out for the how thin he hits it, Jerry. If he hit, catches it too thin there, he can really make a mistake and leave Efren a, a easy shot. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. D definitely no offensive for, uh, possibilities here. Well, you don't see how his nerves here because he has to really hit this ball easy. Well, he hit it harder. He's trying to. He's going to leave it straight in the hole again. I, I don't like that choice. I, I don't know what his decision making process is on these shots, but he seems to be taking the hard options and they're not coming through for him. I don't really know what he was. Because the one would not bank into the pocket. I don't. Maybe he, he was trying to hit it two rails up where up, the pink four was. Right, at. up behind the seven or the four. That was just a very, very difficult shot to do. Well, now he's left Efren with an open table. There are no clusters. No pockets are hidden. This is a little bit tricky for Efren. He has to come out two rails, I'm thinking, here. Efren's watching to make sure he doesn't touch the five. One, two. Well, here he's come, come, up, come short. up short. Boy. Efren's smiling. Well, now, he does have a bank open into the side pocket, but do you take that here, or do you duck the cue ball behind the seven ball? I don't see him taking on the bank here because he has Oliver in a position to where Oliver's really playing bad, and he doesn't want to give Oliver a really easy opportunity right now. He wants Oliver to have to earn it. So I think he's going to play the four. Banks two rails down, try to play the pink four up under the nine, the cue ball up under the eight ball and the six. He's going to bank the four, two rails. One, two. He's hit it too hard. But he. But he's got a snooker. There was his uh, There was his blocking ball back there. He knew it was there. He was actually trying to play the four ball there. He was trying to make the four, two rails. Right. And um, because he knew he was the cue ball was going to be behind the, behind the uh, eight ball. Oliver looking at a kick shot off of the side rail. And uh, 
The danger here, of course, is that if he comes into that rail too late, he can scratch. Yes, um, I see. Well, with the highness, he he has to hit the pink four here. I don't see him scratching here because I think he's having to hit this ball a little bit to try to make it. He has overcut it. He almost makes that ball, but a little bit is as good as a mile. And he's given the table back to Efren, and once again, it's an open table. Yep, I see no problems here for Efren. He's going to shoot to five, come up one rail, shoot to six, and green six in the lower, the top left corner, I mean. Oh, I'd oh, love to watch that in, man stroke. He's played in the side. Efren Ray has one of the smoothest strokes in the business. Six ball will go in the side. Seven ball will follow suit in the lower left-hand corner pocket. He'll probably spin back up table, uh, let's see, with that angle, two rails. And play the eight in the upper left-hand corner pocket. Didn't even need the second rail. He fell short, but he'll take this cut. And that allows him easy access to the nine ball. Yep, I see uh, five nothing. Could be a whitewash, Jerry. They paid double on skunks. <laughs> Unfortunately not, Johnny. Uh, but that's not going to uh, disappoint this man too much. He's liking this score, five nothing. In a race to 11, he's almost halfway there while Oliver can't get out of the gate. Yeah, I think Oliver needs an easy easy opportunity just to get going. Oliver has no rhythm right now. He's uh, he's trying the hard shots, and they're just not paying off for him. And You know, Oliver's a good player. He's a great player. He can get a couple, get rhythm going, you know, gets his break going. If he wins a couple games, you know, he can get back in this in this match. Oliver, a man who has played many disciplines, even a world champion at straight pool six, to break, in years past. To Watch Efren's style when he breaks here. He'll really come. Watch it. Watch it ahead. Everything go forward. So everything goes up together. Oh, but he almost drops the cue ball in the side yeah. pocket. I don't know how these balls are staying up. Well, I don't know. This cue ball looks like this. It's past a level. Well, wow. it's now been more than five seconds, so if it were to drop now, it would come back up and be replaced by the referee. Look at this cue ball. It's moving with plenty of speed to fall. Wow. And just refuses to fall. Efren's made a weak shot again. Well, he may have snuck him there, but it leaves Oliver a pretty attacking um, rail first kick shot on the, on the yellow one here. Well, he'll have to hit this ball firm if he plans to make it because he's got to get that cue ball all the way across the table for the two. No, I don't really look for him to make it. I think, he, I think he's definitely going to play a safety here. He's going to be back. He's going to kick it one reel. He'll be back behind the five and nine here. Oh, he can hit it. Oh, he can hit it straight on. Well, he's played a safety. Hey, this is not a full ball hide. It's uh, about a half ball if uh, Efren were a jump meister he could easily jump over this ball but the pocket obviously is blocked so I think he's full snookered here I think but he can mass a pretty easy I think you'll see you'll see Efren mass a here okay. Efren deciding what to do here and Johnny's right Efren's gonna mass a this ball he has jacked up the back end of his cue stick he'll be swerving down the table Wants okay. to hide behind the three and the seven. And he's got it. And he's nope, got it. Nope, he didn't. He's left it. If he doesn't have it, uh, Oliver can, can do another swerve and, and be pretty easy. But I think Oliver's straight on here. There you see the ball curving. Yep. Efren was trying to spin it up around the, the uh, seven and six there, but he's left Oliver a shot. Here Oliver needs to really take his time and... and 
and make a good run out here and get back into this match. Well, the problem I see is when he makes this four ball, the one ball goes away from the pocket, so he's got to plan the path of that in relation to the cue ball. Yeah, I think what he, he's going to have to control both balls here, and I don't think he can really hit it that easy because the cue ball is kind of going toward the corner pocket in the angle it looks like. So I think he maybe needs to spin the cue ball out two rails, you know, to, to kind of take it and go toward the one where it's going. Yeah, well, that would require a very firm hit. Cannot baby this shot. No, you can't hit it too easy, I don't think. Okay. He controlled it by he controlled it by the the side rail there. Which yeah, the was a angle very, obviously very was good shot. less than we could see from our position. Uh, this one to fall into the side pocket. Very nice. He has a pretty neat angle on the on the blue two to come back for the three. The problem I see here, Jerry, is definitely going to be the green six and, and the brown seven because I don't think the six passes the seven ball to go into the top right corner. Well, Oliver just took a long look at that to see how much space he had on the path along, the pa along to the pocket from the six. If the seven interferes, he's going to have to work something out here. Yep, he's going to either have to play a... And the bad part about it is the nine ball is really close to the orange five to where he can come back down table. Well, but if he leaves this ball in the center table, he could have played a carom onto the nine off the five. But now... Well, he's got a pocket to three ball down there first. And uh, the carom on the nine is, uh, I think, is, is a little bit too risky because if he happens... Because he's definitely going to try to pocket the five. And if he happens to miss it, then, you know, of course, he's not going to have any kind of a shot on the six. He's going to shoot this three and go up and down, I think, Jerry. That's what you'll see here. Okay, very nice clean hit. And he's got an angle on this five, I think. Well, no, maybe not. A little bit harder. Yeah, he up from our overhead shot that we see here in the uh, booth, it appears that he's straight in on this Is he five. straight on this? Well, if he's straight on this, as you can look at the angle where the cue ball is at. If he's straight, he draws back perfectly back to where his hand is right now. But maybe he's going forward out two rails. Okay, he did go forward. Maybe the six does pass, Jerry. Well, he's played it as if it passes. If it doesn't pass, he's made a big mistake. But he's taking sure. a long look at it, Johnny. He's studying this. Oh, it does pass. Okay, it does pass. But he definitely has to have a clean hit here. He can't have a miss hit and make it for sure. He only has half a pocket to work with. These pockets slightly over two balls wide. Very nice. Right okay. in the heart. Good shot. Very nice clean hit there. That's the kind of run out he needed there for his confidence. Oliver about to draw his first blood of the match. Nine ball down. Oliver Ortman now has one game to Ephraim Reyes five. And he'll be coming to the table with the break when we come back. You've joined us in Cardiff, Wales for the Hasseroder World Nine Ball Championships. And Oliver Ortman has just made his first mark on the board and comes to the table with a critical break shot. Johnny, he really needs to get something going here. He made a good break. Looked like he, okay, he didn't scratch. And the two's going to land down there on the three ball good.
Yep, he made a good break there. He lost his cue ball a little bit, Jerry, and got it going down toward the corner pocket. But uh, you can see it's going down toward the corner pocket here. and We definitely don't never want to come that close to it, Jerry. Indeed, he has a shot on the two. The challenge here is to get onto the three ball. Very good shot there, clean hit. Come up a little bit short on the three. He's definitely got a thin hit on the three ball here. Well, now let me ask you, do the six ball and the eight ball interfere with his position on the next shot? It would seem to me he'd want to yeah. be coming back across the table. They definitely interfere. I think he can go in between them, but with the thin hit, he can't really control the cue ball all that well. He's going to have to make a clean hit here to go in between them. Okay, he went in between them. Okay, missed them both, both times. Very good shot. That was a very well, good shot. This is what Oliver needed. He needed to warm his arm up, get a few shots in. Okay. Choosing the long shot on the six rather than playing tricks with the cue ball. I think that's exactly what you need to do. Oh, oh, well, that scared me and I wasn't even playing. Wow. That one closed, but it's down, so it counts. It counts as good as going in clean. Now off the rail for the eight ball, and he's made very fast work of this rack. Yeah, it doesn't take Oliver long when he's going. Call him the machine. Okay. Oliver Ortman makes his second mark of the match. Now trails Efren Reyes five to two. And up at the, on the mezzanine, we've got a tight one going between Takanaka and Yang. This match now sits at five five. And this is Yang at the table. Five five and Mr. Yang has pulled out his jump cue. Looks like he's going to try to attempt to jump over the orange five, try to pocket the two. A full ball jump. Wow. What a great shot. That was a good shot there, Jerry. What a great champion Yang is. Very nice shot. One of the true, true threats of this tournament. Very nice, Jerry. That was a very good shot to... Indeed. For the cameras for us to go up there and look and just show the, the talents that the Taiwanese players have. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Oliver Ortman. Good break off there. Kept his cue ball in control. The one looks like it's oh. going to stop right in front of the five where it can't, nothing, can, nothing offensive can be made from there. A very unfortunate roll for Oliver. He's had a few of those. Yeah, he made a very good break there. And... and uh, you know, he hits the cue ball. The cue ball, you can look, stops dead center. And here comes the one around. Gets kissed. Five gets kissed by the six. And just that's settles. That's the, um, you know, that's the rolls of the tricks of the trade, Jerry. And now he's trying. I don't know if he's trying to billiard a safety or he's gonna he's gonna think. And yeah, I don't think he's sure himself. <laughs> Whatever it, he does, he definitely has to e execute here. He's well, looking at a billiard he there. Sure is what is. he's looking at. Really clipping the one thin, trying to come off, catching the edge of the five and knocking it in the corner. I'm I'm not sure he's got enough five ball here. He's got a. Is he counting on the one ball to actually start the five in motion before the cue ball strikes it? No, I don't think so. I think he just maybe he thinks he can clip enough of the five and I'm like you. I don't think he can hit the five full enough. I think he's gonna if he does that he, it's gonna go to the bottom rail. If he, uh, he would have to barely barely move the one in order to do that. He would also have to load this cue ball up with left-hand English to try and throw that five just a little bit to the right Okay, he's that's what he's trying, Jerry. He's trying a billiard. And it went to the bottom rail, like we said. Well, we never really thought that shot was on. Obviously, Oliver did. It just, I mean, you could see right there, he just couldn't catch enough of the fireball. 
Well, well, Oliver's he's trying to he's trying to grasp a little bit. He's trying to reach out for things that are not there and I think he has to kinda settle himself down a little bit and and uh you know try to choose the correct shots. And Efren Efren's playing a billiard here. He's gonna get clip to one, try to play to seven. Very good. Well, there you see the difference between a man playing with desperation and one playing with inspiration. Evan Reyes pulling another creative trick out of his bag. I tell you, that wasn't near as easy as everybody thinks it was. I mean, he really had to clip to one to, to make that seven from that far, far away. Made a good shot. Okay, he's come up a little short here. Two well, ball in the corner. He had a great shot to start the rack. This is a problem, but I certainly look for Efren to make this ball and land on the three. Yeah, I think he's just going to pocket the two ball here in the lower left-hand corner and try to screw the cue ball out kind of out in the center, shoot the three ball in the, in the right corner. Very good shot. And now this table is set up beautifully for him. The five and the six await him near pockets. From the six ball, he'll be able to move out anywhere he wishes around center table to play the eight and get easy shape on the nine ball. So we look for Efren to make yet another mark on the board. Yep, I see no problems here, Jerry. I love the way he played this shot because now he can go two rails and the cue ball is going to be traveling right down the line of the shot when it comes off the second rail. Yep, very good good execution. Efren now will put this eight ball in the lower corner pocket. The cue ball will move over to the rail and back out. Straight in on the nine ball. And the man just makes it look so easy. Very good player. Nine ball down. Efren Reyes now leads our match six to two over Oliver Ortman. And Efren has spent most of the time at the table here, denying Oliver table time, denying him the opportunity to get it warm. And Oliver continues to warm the chair only. Well, Johnny, when you're in Oliver's situation, what's going through your mind? Well, at this point, there's a lot of negative thoughts going through Oliver's mind right now. He's made a couple, you know, un, you know, un Oliver like, you know, shots, and you know he, the billiard shot. He kind of, he even knew in his mind that it really wasn't on, and he was thinking offensive. I can get something going, get something going. You know, I got to keep the table. I can't try to play defense on reference, and he would just. Kind of what you say. He was trying to trying to do with what what wasn't there, Jerry. And so really, he's just you know now he's just you know hoping for his next shot. Maybe he can get that out of his mind. Well, Efren's laid a tough break on him because he's made two balls and has an opening shot and an easy path to the next ball. Yep, I see. Well, I see no problems again. Jerry, I see uh, the red three, the pink four in the same pocket. Come up for the five. The way these balls have set up here, it's just natural shape. One natural roll after another. Well, he has to be a little bit careful here because if he has too much angle on the five, the cue ball's going to go a little bit toward the nine. So he's going left-handed here. He wants to kind of come as as much out to the center of the table he can, and he's he's going toward the okay. Whoo! He went toward the pocket there. To, he's taking a couple extra practice strokes with that one. Well, Efren will take a moment to collect himself after that scare. Yeah, he's put himself in a little precarious position here, Jerry. He's. You know, he's kind of really close to the rail. He's straight on the five. He's going to have to elevate his cue ball. I mean, uh, elevate his cue stick, dig into it, and just really concentrate on pocketing the five ball here, Jerry. 
Yeah, and it's going to be tough to move that cue ball back down table toward the six. Do you just settle for the long shot? Yeah, he's definitely here. He's just basically thinking about making the five. I don't think he's looking to, to do much with the cue ball. Well, and as I said, he wasn't, and he's tried to land down on the six, and he's come up under it a little bit. He might have got fortunate to have a shot in the side. Looks like he might have a shot at it in the side. I don't know what his angle is. Oh, good angle there. Good angle. It looks like he's straight into the side, Jerry. Yeah, he doesn't seem overly pleased with the position of the cue ball. If he's straight into the side, he's going to have to stop the cue ball somewhere about a foot short of the side pocket and then try to just cut the eight in from there. Okay. Well, just as Johnny called it, he has come up a foot short of the side. And okay. now another long shot on the eight ball with a thin cut. Now this is a this is a kind of a difficult shot to to go up and back. Maybe he's he may be trying to just slow it and then. I think he's going to spin around the other side, John. Ooh, and he did. He okay. ran into he the had nine a good ball. Shot there. He ran into the nine and he was using the nine as a block. Seven two. Efren Reyes, a truly magical shot to get on the nine ball. He'll take his seat pleased with that. We're going to take another look at this last shot. You can what see is? the eight ball going in the corner. The nine ball is bruised by the cue ball, which slows the cue ball down. Yeah, he just, he was basically trying to just nudge the nine and take a shot, whatever he got. And he, you know, he got a little easier on the nine than probably he was, he was expecting. But uh, that's just um, in that position. He was just basically taking what he what the table offered him. He wasn't trying to, you know, do anything funny. He wasn't trying to, you know, force anything. He was just taking what the shot was there. Well, when it works, it works, and it's working for this man. Another good break. He almost lost his cue ball. He's. Definitely not going to have. He's losing. He's losing his cue ball a little bit, Jerry. Kind of toward that pocket. Uncharact uncharacteristically, he is. But John doesn't he have a pretty easy. Well, let's take another look at the break first. Okay, here it goes. As you can see here it is. It's headed toward the side pocket, and hits the knuckle. Hits the knuckle of the side, and them are the kind of shot the kind of breaks you you don't want because uh, you give up the table with an easy ball, ball in hand if you scratch and you well, see Efren playing safe here Jerry yeah is he gonna use that three ball in this safety I think he is um, I don't think you'll if he doesn't try if not think he can get it behind him I don't know if he can see a full enough part of the right side of the of the yellow one he may try to spin the one and keep the one behind the three and send the cue ball around a couple rails We'll see here in just a second what he does. Okay, he did try to go on. I don't know if he's hit this hard enough, Jerry. He hasn't. He definitely, Oliver definitely can hit this ball. I don't know if he can make it. Uh, Johnny, I think he can. I think he's got a full ball here. You think he does? Wow, I'll tell you what. That was not like Efren there to leave that shot. Although, he sure is studying it for a long time for a man who has a full ball hit. Well, Oliver's just trying to collect himself here. Even though, you know, he has a full ball, he's running into the three here. Well, maybe not. I think he wanted to draw that ball back another couple of feet. Yeah, three or four more feet would have been ideal. At this point, I don't think you want all these long shots, and he's elevating over the three ball. He's, he's oh. not making it easy on himself. He has to be careful of fouling that three ball. Well, he's close right there. He's really close. Oh, he oh he's touched fouled it. the three. He's touched the three. He sure did. He, he sure fouled did. the three ball. That gives he Efren Reyes close. ball I mean, in you hand. You could see it right here. He he caught it on the way down. Oh, wow. I t he was, we were even seeing he was close to that. I uh, Sure did. You could see it move right there. Wow. You know, he knew he was close. I don't know why he didn't just reset his bridge and get further away from that ball. Man, I tell you what, that was very, very bad mistake there.
Oliver suffering in the chair as Efren shoots on. Well, it's just been a bad night for Oliver Ortman. You have to feel for him. A champion, he's got a very brave heart. And to have all this happen for him, it's sad to watch. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely not playing up to par. And you know he's been playing great all week. Yes, he has, and um, you know it's hard to hard to watch, but you know he can he can build off of it. Even if he you know if even if he goes on to lose this match, you know he can build off of it. Efren Reyes placing another mark on the board and we'll be coming right back to watch the magician take apart one more rack. It's been a difficult day for Francisco Bustamante, but he has pulled it together and has gone through to the quarterfinals. And he's here in the main arena urging his That's countrymen right. on. He wants to see effort in the quarters as well. I'm Jerry Forsyth, joined in the booth by Johnny Archer, and we're enjoying watching Efren put on a show of pool. Well, this is always fun to watch Efren, and it's good to see, you know, countrymen come together for each other. You know, Efren's been there for Bustamante today, I'm sure. Um, you know, Bustamante now comes back in return, and he's watching his, his uh, you know, idol growing up, I'm sure. You know, uh, and, and they're, you know, they're helping each other out in a time of need. And, you know, that's all we can say, you know. We're all trying to, we all have our hearts out, out for them. Indeed we do. Efren Reyes. Well, this will be a safety here, Jerry, for sure. Trying to use probably the two or the four as blockers. No, he's hit it harder. He's than playing this. a bank shot. Playing a bank shot. Okay, and he's missed it. A bit of a two-way shot there. He had planned on the three ball being a full ball block on the one had he hung it. Well, and the two ball in the position that it is, it's not an easy position to get back for the two ball. So he was basically trying to play in the bank shot. And coming over, and he was going to play the two ball on the side, I think. Indeed, right now, Oliver has a difficult path to get back to that two ball. I don't see a way for him to do it. Well, I, I th think he, if, he has an, if he can make this one, he has the angle to come back on the side where he's at now uh, for the two. Um, I see. To shoot the two over into the left lower left-hand corner pocket. So he would be drawing this ball this way. Well, I think he's going to come more to the side rail, I think is what it looks. Okay, and play it, yeah, right. Play the it left over there, yeah. corner pocket, all right. So he'll be coming for short side shape. Close to where he's at now, I think. I think that's where he's fisting open pocket. Okay, well, whatever it was, it, it didn't work. He's hooked himself right behind the, right behind the pink four ball. Indeed, Oliver has snookered himself, slams his fist into the table in frustration. And you really can't blame him. It's just been a terrible night for Mr. Ortman. Yeah, just a just a number of mistakes from Oliver. He's uh, not played very well, and Efren's you know taking advantage of every opportunity he's gotten. And you know it's just frustrating out there. You know, uh, I'm kind of I don't know if I want to be on the TV table tomorrow, because uh, uh, you know if it if it causes the guys to to make the mistakes like that I'd rather stay upstairs I'm doing doing okay upstairs but but uh you know who knows I'd like to see maybe if I got a chance to be on TV I maybe I can do good who knows 
Well, it's not like you have a choice, Johnny. We're going to put you out there, I'm sure. Well, that's well, right. that's true. Uh, if I can play upstairs all week, and you know, at least I know on the finals I have to play there. So, yeah, the but, TV uh, table you want to be on on Sunday. That's true. Well, you want to be on any table on Sunday, which it happens to be the TV table. But anyway, um, what a good thing about it, you know. We, while we got a little break here, Oliver looking over a shot, you know, we, um, you know, the, the Stan James, the uh, one of the sponsors here, and then Hasser Rotor, you know, they they're doing a great job with putting on this event and Matchroom Sports with Barry Hearn and his his staff. You know, they put on a class event, and it's just always fun to come back every year. Indeed it is, and Oliver has executed his shot on the two ball, and, and he's left Efren an open shot, but it's a tough one. Yes, he's left a shot here. He's going into the nine ball. Uh, if he elects to play the two ball in the lower right-hand corner, I don't know. I definitely don't think he can get around round the nine here. He's looking at maybe he's looking at a safety or. Well, I, th I think he might have been checking the angle the cue ball is going to take after it collides with the nine. I see. Okay, he's we'll he's see. definitely playing the not playing the two ball. It looks like. Yeah, not much profit in attempting this nine ball here. No. Oh, he did miss the nine. He hit it hard to create the angle where it missed the nine. Good shot. See, now, the reason he missed the nine there, he hit the ball hard. If he had hit it easy, it would have definitely, natural angle would have would have hit the nine ball, but he, he hit it hard to miss the nine. The man has a natural instinct for the physics of colliding spheres. Yes, that was a very good shot. Four okay. ball down and only four balls away from a 9-2 lead. Very nice. Now I think you'll hear see Efren coming out. He's going to draw the cue ball just one rim between the seven and nine here. Okay. Playing a precise game of surgical pool. And Efren uh, Reyes. About to take his ninth mark, now leads this match 9-2. to two. And, of course, as the winner breaks, he gets to come back to the table one more time. Johnny, you know, one of the things I've noticed over the years watching tournament pool is that um, the guys who win these games always seem to be peaking at the right time. They get better as the week goes on, whereas those who fall by the wayside tend to start out well and then fall off. Is there any way that you prepare for that? Well, no, you don't prepare for falling off or peaking or anything like that. What you really try to do is, of course, as the tournament goes along, and the guys that are really playing, let's say, a little bit better than the other guys, they're getting more used to the conditions. They're getting more used to the table, the environment, the surroundings around them. And, you know, they, they fall in, into their comfort right, zone, well, into their comfortable the position to where, you know, it's, they're kind of in a, in a zone to where they, they are not aware of anything around them. And that's, that's what you do. Indeed, for these men, the world has to end okay. at the edge of these rails. We have two balls down, the, uh, the one and two, and he hasn't fallen hasn't got a shot on the three you'll watch this set up you can see the three ball and the white ball parting company winding up on opposite ends of the table with a at least a half ball block in between at least for my yeah he's got a he's got a half ball block here Johnny yes he's gonna I don't know if Efren's gonna elect to kick at this ball or push out um, I actually look for him to push out okay Okay, he's pushed out to where he's kind of put, he's got on top of the eight ball. 
Well, Oliver's yeah, giving it back I think, to him. I, I think that was a misplayed push out. I don't think he meant to push out to there. Yeah, Efren's he, got that grin on him that he uses yeah, when he yeah. messes up yeah, a little bit. I don't bit. think he meant to push out there. Uh, yeah. Another Massey shot from the master of the Massey. Okay, he hit it. Hey, he got away with it. It's going to be right. Nope. Yep, that's a very good shot. <laughs> and Oliver is took a look at that shot and just can't believe it. He's, he says, what in the world is happening to me here tonight? Everything that can go wrong has. Efren pops himself in the head there as he's going fishing. And uh, he's still going fishing, looks like. Well, maybe not. But uh, he's... You know, as you can see, he's having a good time with his crowd. You know, he's having a good time with his fans. And, you know, he's looking back there. He's making them feel comfortable. Indeed, he's got a great base of fans here in Cardiff. He does. This he has looks them like all little, over the world, Jerry. This looks like Little Manila tonight. Oh, yeah. And uh, you'll see that everywhere. Every tournament we go to. It just seems like they come out. The last two or three days, they come out from nowhere. You just don't. There's a, a group of Filipinos, I think, in every city in the world, maybe. And that's great. I want to take one one moment here to thank thank all the American players that come over here and represented our country this year. Um, this is the best we've done collectively, you know, in a, in a while and. I think I don't know if people were writing us off, you know, kind of, sort of, you know, because we hadn't done that well in the past few years. But um, you know, it's it's great to see that we we still we still have it. You know, Earl's still left in the tournament, playing well. You know, uh, I'm still left. I'm 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 playing pretty well. Jeremy just got knocked out. Nick Varner played the other day. Shannon Dalton. Johnny, once again, a ball has just refused to fall I can't believe how deep this ball is in the pocket what is keeping this thing up well don't breathe Jerry with your, <laughs> with your hot breath you might knock it in <laughs> well we're gonna take a look at you know uh, what countries are left you know in the in the in the tournament I think we have uh, well we have Germany here with Oliver we have uh, the Philippines we have Efren and Bustamante, a couple Americans. And uh, we have uh, Taipei. Taipei, we have, uh, well, Yang is still in. Uh, he's still in a match. Japan's upstairs. Uh, Sweden, Marcus Shimat. Um, Takahashi, another Japanese. Indeed, a true world event. Okamaro, and Japanese. Efren trying a world-class shot. Well, he is perfectly played shot. Very nice. Well. Yep, I think he was trying to hit the lower side of the three in the cue ball, try to get behind the seven ball, but. Well, yep, he can afford a slip here at nine two. Yes, he's uh. He's got a. Got a couple slips he can make maybe. But Oliver can can uh, make him pay if he makes too many slips. That's for sure. Oliver definitely capable of stringing racks together. Okay, he's played a safety, but I think he's left a gap to where Efren can hit it. I don't think I don't think you'll see Efren trying to pocket this ball. Send it two rails possibly to the middle of the head rail. He's looking I don't know. Efren may take this on. Try to put a lot of extreme left-hand English or left-hand side. Hit the. Try to cut the three down the rail. It's hard to say. And the seven's interfering with the left-hand part of the cue ball, so maybe he won't do that. Well, that would be one heck of a tough cut. What I was thinking he might do would be to send the three ball. Two rails. I don't think he can see that much of the three ball. I think he can only see the lower half of it. Um, I think he's using the end, all this English, and he's trying to. Well, I think he was tr trying to make that ball, and and um, 
He he really really mishit it. Well, we'll see the messed up grin again from Efren. And I don't Oliver think you'll Ortman. see a grin on this one. Oh, you're no, right. You won't see a grin on that one. No. He's not he's, happy. No. Okay. Three and the fours down. Looks like all is kind of connected dots from here, Jerry. Well, we get to watch a man who's had a bad night have a good little short run. There, here he just stays away from the nine, whatever it takes to stay away from the nine. Okay. Six down. He's closer than nine, but he's, I think he's okay. Yeah, he's all right. He is closer than I thought he would decide to leave himself. Okay. I think he's just going to shoot the eight, come up, and the nine ball in the other corner. Cue ball off the rail into a nearly straight in shot on the nine ball. And finally, Oliver Ortman makes another mark. Now trails Efren Reyes. Three to nine. Well, at least he has an opportunity to come to the table and try and do something. Well, he's the good thing about it, every time he, he wins a game, he gets to break. He don't have to get a break up. So, you know, with the balls going, you know, a rhythm can is definitely possible for sure, Jerry. If he gets going, you know, make a good run out here, get a couple easy opportunities. Two or three games is, is a lot closer than, what is it, nine to three? That's six games. So, you know, a nine to six score is put some heat back on Efren. Rack 13, Ortman's Absolutely. Three. Oliver needs to put some heat on the man. And to do so, he's got to start with this break shot. Needs something to develop after the break. Okay. Watch the one ball. Pocket to one pocket. Okay, he's going to have a shot here. Two ball get by the five. Okay, it does. <coughs> well, Everything. The only problem is just he's elevating over the pink four. This is, this is the main shot here, Jerry, with everything. This is kind of sort of like maybe pocketing the nine ball if you make the one here and get good position because he's remember the last time he bridged over a ball he nudged it with a stick and Michaela our referee was right there on top of it to call the foul and and he didn't dispute it because he knew he had yeah actually he, he called it himself he actually even pointed called it himself out to okay he is that's Boy. that's not as close as I think as it was last time okay He's really, boy, well, he took a long shot on the two ball. He didn't want to. Well, this makes getting shape on the three ball really tricky. Very tough. He has put himself in a very tough position here. I believe I'd have tried to get on a round. And three lead over Oliver Ortman. And breaking our fans enjoying a quite a show from Efren Reyes. Well, Efren's in a pretty good place right now, huh, Johnny? Yeah, 10 to 3 in breaking. Um, you can't ask for much of a better position to be in. Oliver's um, looking to the heavens now. I think he just wants to be out of this arena. Just yeah. one bad thing after another. Oliver's kind of in the electric chair, as we call it. You know, he's he's not enjoying himself. He's made a few mistakes. Efren's played well. Um, he expected to play a little better. You know, to to give Eflin more of a game, 14, and uh, just Reyes hasn't meant one. Mark, another mark now trails four to ten. We watch our rack being put together, and up on the mezzanine, we've had another match just finish. Yang has uh, beaten Takanaka 11 to 6. So a great champion from Chinese Taipei goes on through to the quarterfinal rounds and Takanaka of Japan is retired from the tournament. Well, the Japanese, uh, they still have two more Japanese players in. You know, they have uh, Okamura and they have Takahashi who is probably the two top Japanese players. So they, they have a good rep. And now his trailing five games to ten from Efren Reyes. 
Well, he's got to be feeling a little bit better about his performance now. Yeah, he made a very good shot on the one ball there. Uh, that was what we call a two-way shot, Jerry, where he banked the one in, sent the cue ball into the five, and stopped him behind the nine, even playing position on the two. So a lot of good things could happen in that, and really not much bad could happen from there. Well, you have to say it's about time the ball started treating Oliver a little bit better. He's They've been awfully rough on him tonight. They have, and uh, that's what it takes. It takes it takes some some easy shots to get going, and it takes some good shots. So, uh, you know, maybe a few of them together can get Oliver back in this match, and back 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 down to try to hit the four, and maybe hope it hits the five, knock one of them in, maybe get safe some kind of way. But if he elects to go the other way, of course, he's if he hits the four, he's he could send it toward the nine. Those are the two but paths the man has. Of course, that's a tougher hit, too, because it's further away from the, from the side rail. I think he's got to go toward the bottom and, and, and because he could involve the nine ball, but he hasn't had any luck at all tonight. To think that he would come up with some good fortune now, at the same time, maybe he's due. True, Jerry. Well, he's definitely electing, looking like he's electing to go toward the nine. If he hits the four, we just, maybe the four can hit the nine, go in, go off the bottom rail. If it goes off the bottom rail and hits the nine, it'll, the four will go in. Uh, this just 11 to five over Oliver Ortman. And the great Reyes continues along his trek. Pool Championships on Sky Sports. Sponsored by Stan James. Your best bet for all the action. Ambitious indeed. To think beyond the pot. Well, he didn't hit that hard enough to draw, so he was just hitting it deep so that he could hit a, a more gentle shot and still maintain position on that table yeah he was able to keep it there with that deep deep punch right talking about deep punches how about a quick punch to the pink nine no I don't think so the way he's set up he's gonna come back across the table play the four in the same pocket as the two ball and just go out from there Great shot. Yep. On the money on the pink. He does have to go across the table and back for the orange, but that won't be any problem for this man. You know, really, since the six ball is lying down here on the foot rail, he could just draw out to center table and use the angle off the five to make his trip to the six more feasible. Why trying to save the game with these balls? Takashi would do it if he could take this rack. So Alex being meticulous in his preparation. Critical shot. He has decided to draw back out to mid table. Now he'll use more right on this ball to spin back for the six. He can't put a lot of deep draw on it. He, don't want to, he doesn't want to flirt too much with that side pocket unless he's further away from it than it appears here in the booth. Yeah, low. Well, he is hitting it right low and English. right. Using the spin brings him back. Oh, just about as good as you could get for that six ball from there. Tonight, 
coming up. Remember, winner breaks. Lely could go all the way now. Well, that's a very fine shot. He got on the right side of the seven ball where it's an easy path to the eight. He can just stun right toward that eight ball. Yep. Yeah. Wiped its feet, bobbled half out. But safe. 10 8 coming up, coming in with bit of bottom spin to draw back. A snidge and pocket this. Game could be about to turn. It's for Taniet. Indeed. Alex Laley refusing to give up. A very tenacious player. And now he's only three racks away from victory. So Takahashi may not be rising from his chair again. Meanwhile, on the mezzanine, that much uh, looks as though it's going to Archer here. Just needs the nine to do for Lee. And in the stroke is in. Very surprised if he's going to miss 19, this. To break, chilling by eight ranks to ten. Johnny shops the nine, goes through, confirming 11 5 against Kun Fang Lee. Meanwhile, uh, the Dutch bandwagon continues to roll on the main table. One more break shot. Could you please be quiet while you're taking your seats? And if that one ball will continue, he's got a shot here, Sid. Absolutely true, he has. Uh, position to the blue two uh, could be very difficult to uh, given that the yellow one is about an inch in from the cushion. Well, more than just very difficult. This is <laughs> this is almost too much to ask for. The, to, to, he's got to draw this ball back so far to get shape on the two ball unless he's going to... Settle for a safety here. He doesn't want to do that. He wants to. Oh no! He tried to draw back. Tried to get the shape. In his favor, that one ball's in a tough spot. I mean, that cue ball's in a tough spot right now. Oh, he just jawed it out. Right. Drove it into the rail early. Give him his two. Then he had uh, a shot off it too. Even if he had a put of the one. So here we go, uh, the former world champion could step in now and sell this up. Well, Kunihiko has basically the same problem. He's got a tough shot. He's got a very difficult bridging situation, jacked up over these balls. So the cue ball will actually hop up into the air uh, when he hits this. Uh, that always happens when you've got to raise the butt into the cue stick. The ball doesn't roll down. It tends to hop down. To where the one ball is and that can throw things off and he's still got to get back on the two ball this is a tough tough shot oh he's missed it poorly yes very bad miss and, and look what's happened now did he leave it? Yes, he's left that ball in front of the side pocket. It is set up. Could be two or three twists in this river. There's a look. Well, you did spell out, Jerry, the difficulty because of the Q angle when he hit this. Oh, so look how frustrated he is to see where that one ball winds up. Oh, man. Because he knows now 
Alex can set this up so that he can make that two ball and break this trio of balls apart. The six, eight, and nine are a problem now, but he can end that problem on the very next shot. Needs to get past that. Well. Has he still got the angle to break them up? Well, he's got the angle, but he's got to be bridging over a ball now. See, Sid, he can come into this two ball. Yep. And he can choose to either bank the two or put it over here in the side pocket. Either way, he's got the angle to come hit this six. And that'll just collide with these balls and they'll separate out nicely. And, and he could be okay. Um, but the, the bridge is, is the tough part. The bridge is the tough part. He's got I'll remind bridge. you, this is for who uh, goes into the last eight to the World Championship. Yeah, it was so tough he decided to play a safety. And that looks pretty vicious. A very good one. A very good one. But now the table stays tough. And he, since he was going to turn the table over to his opponent, he wanted the table to stay tough. Still a strong chance then for Alex Lely. Who surged with five rocks. How frustrated do you think Takahashi must be now? I mean, here he was up 9-2 to two in this yep. match. And he's just been fighting to get a game. What a great hit. Oh, what a great safety. You might see the jump cue come out on this one. Oh, but surely he couldn't have planned to contact with the orange. No. No, he couldn't have, but it, it, it sure worked <laughs> out well. Let's see if Alex is going to jump it. He hasn't gone for the jump bag yet. Takahashi takes these balls. He's through to the last eight. Lady needs this track and two more. Well, his two main options are a jump or a two rail kick. If he goes the two rail route, you'll see him drive this ball into the top rail. Just here off this rail and into the two. Well, he's going to think about more than just hitting it. Yeah, he's going to spin it instead of roll it, it looks like. Mustn't dolly it up for Takahashi. It has to hit a rail or it's a foul. He's hit a rail. Is it a cut? Clean shot. Oh, yeah, this is a cut. Definitely a cut because the position is natural. He'll have the speed they go right back up table for the four ball. And uh, is there a possible plant that would take the nine in from the six through the black? No. I mean, there is, but, but you would never play it at this stage in a tournament. Well, he's just made things a bit tougher uh, by pushing that seven ball down onto the rail as if life were not hard enough already for this man. If he clears these balls, he's in the last hit. Boy, this last rack just seems to avoid him every way possible. Both men now well deserving of this victory. You hate to see one be retired. But one will go home from here. And one will go on. Oh, no angle really there to break these balls up. So he's, he's got he's to gotta play a safety on the sixth ball. Oh. Just when you've got to stay at the table, you have to leave. Well, he wasn't given much expression-wise for most of this game, but after Lenny rang five racks uh, and giving you a dilemma that you pinpointed, Jerry, he's starting to show emotion now. Well, how could you not? If the balls had broken apart just a little bit differently, 
Oh, he's got an offensive play now. Courageous shot there. Because I'm of the distance, there's an inch between the black and the green. Yeah. And he's found just the line to take the green to the opposite end pocket. Indeed. The green ball here. Uh, the cue ball up and back for the seven. He wants it to stop. He wanted it to stop four inches early to give him angle. Now he's got to force this ball three rails to get on the eight ball. As the seven ball comes to this pocket, the cue ball will come against this rail and this way and up to here. But he's got to force it. Oh, that is that is one tough shot to have to play at this stage in a match. And he's done it, Sid. What a beautiful pool Absolutely shot. Absolutely sensational. Still not looking very happy, though. Well, well, he looks totally he, dejected. Well, he wanted to be <laughs> another two inches off that rail. Perfectionist. And he, and he wanted a, to, be, to be a little bit further down the rail. But uh, he can work this out. He'll draw back. So, former world champion Kunihiko Takahashi, after having been given a bit of a fright now by Alex Laley, looks like sewing up the game and going the last eight here. I can't really see his angle from where I'm sitting. He will either stun toward the center. Oh, okay. He's he's going to have to draw straight back and play the nine ball in the same pocket. He's now going to put the eight ball into into which he will now put the eight. Oh. Whew. He decided to form a shot up. My goodness. My co-commentator stunned by the <laughs> imagination in that shot. This then to end the grinder that Alex flared in. But only briefly came back with five racks. But in the end, Japanese lad held his cool in the last rack. Takayashi goes into the last eight. Well, there you have it. Uh, high drama indeed towards the end there. And Alex Laley tried so bravely to fight back. Uh, just confirmation of the score from the uh, mash a little bit earlier on. Alex Pagalion going down 11-7 to Marcus Schumat, the little Napoleon they call him, uh, 2000 European champion. Alex Laley uh, losing 11-8 to Kaneko Takahashi. This is what we've got in store for you this evening. Around about five minutes time, we're going to go on through with the Hasarota World Pool Championship 2002. Pool Championships on Sky Sports. Sponsored by Stan James. Your best bet for all the action.